The subject of this uh, video is going to be a book. The t title of the book is called uh, Time to Start Thinking, America in the Age of Descent, as in going down, descending. Um, and it's by a uh, British journalist uh, named uh, Luce. And, uh, well, you can see there, Edward Luce. And um, it's basically about all what's wrong with America. And let me uh, let me be fr uh, frank and upfront. Uh, there's a lot wrong. Um, uh, the economy is not going well. Congress is corrupt. Uh, the electoral system is corrupt. Uh, well, this is in this is my opinion. Uh, there's way too many poor people in this country, and we got incredibly filthy rich people who I don't really think deserve that money that they supposedly get or they get, um, especially on Wall Street. But let me go over this book. Um, time to start thinking. America in the age of Descent. Um, uh, let me start reading the blurbs uh, on the back of the book. Luce paints a highly disturbing picture of the state of American society and of the total failure of American elites to come to grips with the real problems facing the country. It rises far above the current political rhetoric. Um, by its measured reliance on facts rather than canned ideological posturing <laughs> to reach its conclusions. That's that's on the back of the book by Francis Fukuyama. He's a I don't know. He's a uh, professor in the uh, in California. He's written several books. Here's another blurb. Uh, warning: This book could be a danger to your peace of mind. Uh, one of the finest journalists of our times, Ed Luce, has crisscrossed the United States tr uh, trying to understand what ails the country and what must be done. His conclusions are highly disturbing and may sometimes set uh, your teeth at edge, uh, but, they, uh, but they are a must read. Uh, once again, a visitor to, the, to these shores has written a masterful portrait of America. That's by David Gergen. Um, let me see. Let me. I'll read one more blurb. Americans need friends who will tell us what we need to hear and how to think about the troubles, many of our own making, that threaten our democracy, prosperity, uh, and leadership in the world. We, we've got uh, just such a friend in uh, Ed Luce. Okay, and uh, each chapter in the book uh, tackles a, a different uh, problem. And here I'll just go over these chapters briefly so you get an idea. Um, the first chapter is the, uh, the Lonely Middle, Why America's Middle Class Continues to Hollow Out. Uh, that's about the decline of the middle class. Uh, second chapter, um, Leave No Robot Behind, Why America's Educational System is Still Falling Behind. We know we haven't been investing in education, and uh, it's... Uh, uh, it's a mess. We don't have standards. We, we're not serious about educating the, uh, our children. Uh, then the third chapter, The Golden Goose, Why America's Lead in Innovation Can No Longer Be Taken for Granted. Um, that's about uh, innovation, technology, and, and, the, and corporate leadership. Um, then chapter, what, four uh, is... Gulliver's travel, uh, Travails, <laughs> Why uh, the Bureaucracy is Harming American Competitiveness. Ah, and then this one you'll all be f familiar with, uh, the next chapter, Against Itself, Why America is Becoming Less Governable. Okay, the next chapter, um, Maybe We Can't, uh, Why Money Continues to Rule in Washington. Uh, and I've been I've been doing this, uh, saying this on numerous of my videos, which I I don't I call their our present system a plutocracy, uh, a rule by the rich and the powerful and the corporations. It's not really a democracy anymore, especially after the the Citizens United decision, uh, which is going to funnel 
a billion, uh, probably a billion dollars or two billion dollars in the next, next campaign. Then the last chapter is kind of, um, well, not, not kind of grim. It says, an exceptional challenge. Why the coming struggle to halt America's decline faces long odds. Now, I haven't read the book yet. I, I just got it today. Um, so I, I'm, I'm already in agreement with a lot of what he, what he says. Uh, I, don't, I haven't gotten into the details of these th uh, things, and I may do another video on this. Um, uh, there's a couple things. Well, there's another thing that he didn't mention, uh, which uh, we're facing, uh, which is we don't have cheap oil. Uh, we don't have cheap energy anymore. In the good old days, uh, oil, uh, gasoline was what? A quarter a gallon? 30 cents a gallon? So you could build big cars, and you could waste energy, and, and oh, and we have global warming that's probably g going to cause problems. So as energy continues to go up in price, and the economy slows, uh, because you need, you need cheap energy, you really need cheap energy to, to, um, uh, cheap energy helps to create a, create an economic expansion. Um, so, uh, yeah, I recommend that book. Um, and uh, let me, oh, I can read one. Uh, this is uh, an over, uh, overview of the book at, uh, at Barnes & Noble. Um, Luce turns his attention to a number of uh, different key issues that are set to affect America's position in the world order. The changing structure of the U.S. economy, the continued polarization of American politics, the debilitating effect of the permanent election campaign, um, the challenges involved in the overhaul of the country's public education system, and the health or sickliness of American innovation and technology and business. Um, and then he talks about, well, the decline of our position in, in relation to the rest of the world and the rest of the world's economy. Um, while many Americans believe that their country can and should re retain its status as a global superpower, uh, Lou sees this as an increasingly unlikely scenario unless Americans, Americans themselves can stand up against the country's increasingly plutocratic character. Plutocratic. Plutocracy. <laughs> we don't have a democracy anymore. We have a corrupt plutocracy run by money. Um, America has bounced back successfully from uh, the shocks of the Great Depression and the Soviet launch of Sputnik, but Luce wonders if uh, the next crisis in America, American confidence may knock it off the top dog position for good. Um, okay, well, uh, that's uh, that's about all I can say about the, uh, the book, <laughs> and uh, I'll be reading it, and maybe I'll do another uh, video on it, and I recommend it. Uh, you know, the next election isn't going to solve... These are long-term problems, and it doesn't matter who's president. If if oh if the right wing if you guys get uh, uh, Romney in there and oh man oh man Romney's in there the businessman the great businessman uh, who's going to cut regulation and cut government back and it's not going to make any difference he's facing a huge deficit the the economy is still going to be uh, stuck in low gear um, so whatever. Uh, these are long-term problems, and uh, and we got the huge de uh, uh, deficit, of course, which Romney isn't talking about, and he, neither is Obama, but the huge deficit and how how we saw that huge deficit. Uh, how, uh, well, whatever. Okay, I'm stopping. Uh, read the book. Yeah, bye.